At the point zero, one of the main Ukrainian defense line, you can see the Belarusian border checkpoint. To get here, we had to walk in a straight line behind Ukrainian military personnel. That's because the main road that connects the two countries is now lined with mines. Stepping outside could be deadly. Oleksandr Tsis, the commander of the local territorial defense brigade, said that since the February 24th Russian invasion, Ukrainian forces have been preparing for possible offensive from Belarus. We are today like one organism, and everyone knows what step to take and how to maneuver. He said that at this point, Ukrainian forces feel confident to defend the country. We feel incredible support from the local population and local government. We got a lot of support and military equipment from our partners. We are preparing our soldiers, so we are ready. Colonel Anton Kvetkovsky shared the Ukrainian intelligence assessment that the Belarusian military is not designed to offensive action. Ukrainians, however, don't take the risk of an offensive maneuvers lightly. In coordination with Russian forces, Belarus can make strikes, and Ukrainians are preparing themselves. The situation on the border is under control. The local topography makes it almost impossible to cross into Ukraine from Belarus by ground. Vitaly Koval, the governor of the Rivne region that borders Belarus, explained the reality on the ground. As you can see, on the left are the swamps. They are impossible to cross. We have 92 kilometers of them. So the enemy should understand that they can't beat nature and God. These swamps help us. In addition, we have over 1,000 small and big rivers in the region with bridges, and they serve as a natural defense for us. Ukraine and Belarus share a thousand kilometer border. In February, Russian forces used Belarus as launch pad for their attack on Ukrainian capital Kyiv. Since the invasion, the Belarusian territory become a base for war logistics and rocket launches. Oleksiy Danilov, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council, told VOA that the Ukrainian government takes the threat seriously. The risks are there. We have never underestimated them. The issue is that the Russian Federation occupies Belarus at the moment. We are prepared for any scenario, including Belarus. Up to this point, Belarusian authorities seemed reluctant to use their ground forces to invade Ukraine directly. It can change any moment. Miroslava Gongadze, VOA News, Ukraine-Belarus border.